What's up, folks, and happy Saturday to you guys, man. Hope you guys were outside enjoying some sun in the fun or fun in the sun, whichever it may be. Hopefully, you're just having a great time on your Saturday off of school, work, or whatever you guys are doing. For me, I was at the beach, man. The beach was pretty sandy. Pretty fun, though. Sun was hot. Sand was amazing. Water, not so much. Water is about a high of 59 degrees here in Lake Michigan. Very, very cold in this particular part of Lake Michigan that we are at today. I would recommend going to a pool that is heated and a lot warmer. Or if you really want to cool down, 59 degree water is pretty uh, pretty good to uh, cool down with. Anyways, guys, let's hop into another game. House Flipper, dude. It seems like housing stuff is really, really hot right now. What I mean by that is like there are so many people that are changing careers, going into real realty, going into flipping houses i mean you can you can buy a house for ten thousand dollars and turn it into a house worth one hundred ten thousand dollars. you put some money into it but you try to get what you put into it back is if not a little bit more money right you got to make a little bit of change or actually put out a little bit of change to make a little change right it's kind of what you have to do so this is exactly what this game is all about we are going to find some run down homes in whatever city we are in we're going to renovate them. We're going to sell them and hopefully get a nice little profit, but only time will tell. So let's hop in here, guys. Let's do some flipping of these houses. And this is a very nasty, nasty room. But all this one needs here is TLC, man. Maybe a new door right there. Actually, maybe two new doors, a little bit of paint. You know, just just, just TLC. Nothing, nothing major. Why did I say nothing twice? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Like, what the hell, bro? It's not like Beetlejuice say three times and the house is going to, you know, turn into a beautiful house. Either way, guys, let's, <laughs> let's dive into... Uh, it's a house flipper. So welcome to house flippers. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate, and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content or content with this shack that you can call your office and lap and a laptop that, okay. Is there a command center? Wow, this is definitely a shack. If I have ever seen one before, this is exactly what a shack would look like in my opinion. Again, guys, this is nothing that is too crazy. Wow, that's the world's strongest bush. Holy cow. Or plant, whatever you want to call it. This is nothing, nothing too crazy. We'll get a lawnmower. We'll cut this grass. A uh, little paint. Uh, fix the windows up a little bit. Nothing craziness, man. We can take care of this. All right, let's go ahead and dispose of our garbage stuff. Just like every other simulator game. Oh, that actually was our room. <laughs> the intro was our, our room. Uh, cool. So this is our office. We're going to clean this uh probably get rid of this rug we don't need this nasty nasty rug or can we clean it what am i doing why am i bringing it outside oh we got them are we moving this all right well if we're gonna keep the rug i guess we're gonna put it like this and put it so it's halfway decent you know what i'm saying so it's not like in the middle of our bed and our floor i guess we got to put it there we can't really do much more with it we have a chainsaw our chainsaw is in our house let's go and take care of the newspapers here we do not need the newspapers uh, the tools, can we put the tools, like, in here? Oh, hang on, bro. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. And, yeah, we cannot put it in there. So we're just going to leave that right there. Okay, so the laptop will allow you to find jobs, buy houses, and switch between them. You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email. What is our first email? Nobody knows. I want to continue cleaning. Like, this is not satisfactory yet, bro. This is not what I want. I don't know. I'm not sleeping on that. That is absolutely disgusting. Why can I not clean? All right, well, let's go ahead and close our door so no flies or bugs or chipmunks. What the hell is that thing? What? Store? Well, it looks like an old person walker. I'm not exactly sure. Good work, hard work. Yes, ma'am. Good work does take hard work. Uh, work means victory. That it does. All right. Let's check out our computer. We are going to sit down on that nasty chair. Not a big fan of that either. But damn, bro, we have $30,000. How do we not have enough money to buy a house? There is a town near where I live. You can literally buy a house for like $5,000. And it's actually not a horrible house. It's just in a horrible neighborhood. So, I mean, it kind of comes with the territory, but you can buy that, flip that, make a little bit of profit off that, right? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. What? All right. I'd like to hire your company to put the house, put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Facebam, aka the Facebook, that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole my radiator. It is possible that some other things are missing too. 
Please clean up the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. Sounds ex very, very sketchy, but whatever. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend. Great. We're going to get into a freaking murder, suicide type thing, man. This is going to turn into house flipper slash detective game like this is going to get interesting before it's over i can tell you that right now folks anyways we are driving to her house i've seen some pretty nasty breakups in my time and a lot of times that's what happens during breakups man they destroy your property it's like i'm gonna get back at you i'm gonna trash your shit i'm gonna destroy your property blah 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 it's like listen just leave you know what i'm saying we didn't work out get out i mean that's that's my philosophy, but then again, I'm not batshit crazy. So we can, uh, yeah, forget about that. So evidently nobody mows their lawn in this town. It is, uh, definitely there is no city ordinance apparently for having long grass. I mean, this lady needs to be concerned by her yard as well. Do we have a lawnmower? We do not. We have a, a broom. What is that a chipmunk? What the hell was that? It's a bird, I think. I don't know. You guys hear it? It is chirping away. All right, guys, let's go ahead and clean this place up. Again, little bit of TLC. We're going to pick the chair back up, stick it right back in its home. There she blows. Grab the garbage can. Yeah, he really did trash this. Like, I don't know, man. This is absolutely disgusting. Did he puke in the sink? Like, dude, it lit. Oh, we're moving the sink. Okay, we don't need to move the sink. We need to clean the sink. All right, there we go. We're going to grab that and we're going to use our, our really we're using a broom. <laughs> we're using the broom, our 1985 broom on the kitchen counter in the stove. Yeah, we are we are classy. Let me tell you what, man. That is one way to clean a house with a nasty broom that our grandmother's 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 probably freaking used back in Nam or some shit. Who knows? But hey, dude, it is getting the job done. It looks so much better already. Let's go ahead and grab that. Throw that away. Grab our trusty, trusty broom again. Clean the counter here, the dresser, the whatever you want to call it. Can't clean a TV. TV's not dirty. Can we clean the couch? Yes, we can. Wow, this is a very functional broom. It's like a one-stop shop. Holy shiznit. I pressed the wrong button. All right, let's grab these cans. Get the cans out of here. Let's pick the chair back up. We'll throw the chair back at its home. There she goes. Right about there. Grab that, and we'll put that probably right there. That looks freaking fantastic. Okay, we have a little bit more to clean. Let's go ahead and grab our trusty broom. That does everything. Whoa. Turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend a new skill point on. Okay. Is there music in this game? Or am I just hearing things? Pretty sure there's a very hint. Slight hint of music. Oh, yeah. There, there we go. All right. We got some music now. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go ahead and continue cleaning. So let's hit the tab button real quick. See what we can spend our trusty, trusty little point on. So we can upgrade a few different things. Not exactly sure what penetrating vision is. Uh, fast hands, 25% cleaning faster, long range, good mop. Let's upgrade our fast hands because it seems like we're using our hands for absolutely everything at this particular moment. Man, look at, oh, oh, we got a box. We got a box, let's get rid of the box. Oh man, we're pressing the wrong button. Again, very, very small house. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a small house. You know, it's cozy, it's quaint, whatever you want to call it. You know, she calls it home. What did he? What did he do? Like, just take a, a, a dirty, like a like mud or something, and throw it on her bed. Like, what? What the hell? But this is like some some crazy psychotic stuff, man. If you go out of your way to do this kind of nonsense because you're you're upset about a breakup, like, bro, come on, man. There are there are more things to worry about in this world did he like kill something in the sink uh, that's what it kind of looks like dude this is getting a lot more sketchy as it goes man i'm telling you right now we're going to walk into a crime scene we've done that we've been to crime scene cleaners and i want to do that gotta check that game out because i'm pretty sure all we did was a demo version for that game so i'm about to check that game out man see if it's ready to be purchased or not um we'll put this We'll put that right there. So we're like, we're going to rearrange her stuff. I mean, I don't know where she wants this, dude. Like, I'll stick it right here. She can kind of do what she wants when she comes back. 
What does she want me to do? Buy appliances? Uh, from now, from now on, you have a tablet at your disposal. Press the tab button, or whatever button that is. I think that's a tab button. Mine says tab. That one says arrow arrow. Use or hide it. It allows you to buy things. It will be handy for this task. Okay, so we do have to buy what a radiator. Evidently, he took her radiator or some shit. I, to me, that's a larceny unless he like stays here. I mean, we are. We are police, right? We've been a detective. We've been a crime scene cleaner, which is not really a cop, but you know what I'm saying? We took care of bodies and stuff. We've been a uh, contraband police. I mean, come on, man, what's up? All right, so we need to buy what? A radiator, radiator. Where would a radiator be? Okay, that's getting, that's a little, little excessive there, volume. Just a tad, tad bit excessive. We're gonna, oh no, wrong button. We're gonna do that right there. We're gonna turn that down to about right there. All I can hear is the music. So what do we gotta buy? We gotta buy a radiator. Where the hell? If I was a radiator, where would I be? I don't know. I don't know where I would be. I would be somewhere, survival. Oh damn, bro. I'm telling you, man, this game is gonna get legit. <laughs> it's going to get crazy up in this bitch. You all didn't believe so. I've never played this game, guys. I did not know there were guns in this game. Like, what? We could buy an assault rifle. What? We can buy a 50 cal? Like, what? Or a light machine gun? It looks like a 50 cal. Dude, what is going on, man? All right. Well, back to radiators. I Again, I don't know. I don't know where that would even be. Kitchen? Go. Uh... Ray, if I can spell it. <laughs> Spelling's hard. Is it like functional cabinets? Hang on. All right, we got to buy a... Oh, radiator. Like for a car? Is that what they want? Radiator plumbing system. Uh, I guess I'm not... I'm not a handyman, so I, I assume something for a car, but like... Really? Did he really take this or bust this or do something with? Oh, great. Where does this go? I don't even know where this This is for a tub. Does it go outside? Um, I really don't know where the hell this thing goes, man. It's for a bathroom or plumbing, right? So, like, is there... There's no kitchen in this house. Oh, here it is. Where the hell... Where's this lady want this? I guess the, the thing is, I gotta find her other radiator. So let's go ahead and put, can we put this away or no? I guess we can't. Can I stick it in here? I cannot do that. Well, if I was a radiator, where would I, oh, here we go. Well, that's where it goes. We're just, oh God, it's steaming. Oh no, what did we do? We broke it. Okay, well that's, uh. Did we did, it didn't do anything. Maybe we still have a radiator, we gotta, what? You can buy radiator in Mountie here. Bro, I just did for $500. What the shiznit, man? Okay, so maybe that's just a system or what? Do we have actually have to buy the rate? We have to actually buy the radiator now. Okay, so we're going to buy this now for $44.60. And can we stick it right here? All right, we did that. Did we get, did we get like, one radiator now is a show. Bedroom is good to go. It's what the shiznit, bro. Oh, we have to assemble it. Oh wow, we are really, really the handyman here, dude. Like I thought we just put it in. It was just, you know assemble itself, but I guess not. I guess we gotta do all this. Uh, anything else we have to do? Let's let's get that. We still don't have one radiator. What is going on? Like, um, was this the wrong area? Because it says something about, it says like what? Living room, which kitchenette, mountain devices, radiator. So does it need to go out here? Do we got to buy two radiators? Did I, oh my gosh, we put it on the wrong area. Can I take this down? No. Man. <laughs> yeah, can I move this? Oh no. Well, that just happened. That really sucks. I didn't see it over here in a corner. Well, let's buy... Let's buy another radiator. We're going above and beyond, folks. That's exactly what we do here at the uh, Polar Wind Renovation slash Buying Shit We Don't Need LLC. All right, that's what we do. 
We're going to spend another $561. It doesn't want to go here. I can only hang it on the wall. Bro, that is the wall. What do you think this is? Or wait, no, maybe I just got to buy the radiator itself. Dude, this is, I'm making this more confusing than what it needs to be. All right, let's just buy this. See if we can do that. There we go. All right. Now we need to assemble this again. We are an expert when it comes to the radiator because we just did this, right? 100% just bought a useless radiator for no apparent reason. But you know what? We gave her two now. Now she, in case her boyfriend comes back, her ex-boyfriend, and steals her shit again, she has one in her bedroom she can just take off the wall and put it where she pleases. So, uh, now what? Are we good? Are we done? Do I need to pick up this stuff? Okay, well, that's that's the candle. We'll put the uh, Secrets of the Bible there. Don't know what kind of book that is. It looks like a Bible book, and we're going to light this bad boy up. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, close the door. Can we light it up again? There we go. Gosh, that looks freaking beautiful. All right. Anything else we have to do? Are we done? Complete the job. We just did. We are good to go. So how do I complete the job? We can get another point. All right. We have a camera here. So let's go ahead and take a picture. Lovely. Lovely. With the cabinet doors open, that is a perfect picture to take. Let's go ahead and close these up because we don't need these open. I don't want any cats or dogs or chipmunks getting in. Is that broken? Do I need to fix this too? You know what? Not my problem. Not my house. Not my problem, right? All right. What do we do now? How do we complete the job? What button? What button is that? It's not the tab button. Um. There we go. It is the enter button. <laughs> okay. You completed 100% of the job. You may now complete the job for $785. Are you sure? Yes, I want to complete the job. Now, does she pay me $785? I sure hope so because I bought her ass two radiators. You know, you ask for one, I give you two. That's how I work. That's how I operate. That's how I make money. You know what I'm saying? Now, what are you going to do? You're going to just, like, fire me? No, I, I cleaned your house. Like, it was a pigsty, and I made it beautiful again. Now, I need to finish cleaning my own house because this is absolutely disgusting can we clean our door no we need to paint said door let's clean our little stove here oh man this is looking beautiful who put the plate there bob uh can we just throw this in here no all right well that's gonna stay there's not, not enough room to place this item here so what else do we have to do let's go to the computer let's go to job number two we have mail all right well this guy see i told you we are the radiator king now now jack wants a radiator he wants radiators all right so we need to clean the garage please throw all away all the boxes trash and old tires please don't forget to clean the windows too it's better not to touch the tools though my husband doesn't like when someone moves them and he can't find them afterwards okay well caroline sounds like you need to keep your mittens your paws off your husband tool there is a lot of stuff in this garage a lot of stuff. So hopefully we can overcharge Caroline too, right? Or Carolyn, Caroline, however you want to say. Hopefully we can overcharge her and charge her for double the work. All right, guys, we are here at the garage job. We're going to enter through the house. Hello, we are here. Can I go? I can go everywhere. All right, where is Caroline? Can I say hi? We are just like snooping around in this lady's house. I don't know where she is, but at least she has a pretty decent sized house. Very, very clean look at this kitchen marvelous man it's got a little i don't know day room whatever this is a little porch room man beautiful yard finally somebody actually cut their damn grass that's a surprise surprising no one's done it yet so far including ourselves hopefully we can buy a lawnmower once we get some more money you know once we do double charge this lady where the hell is the garage at well here's the bedroom there's a closet. There's a window. We can open the window, get some fresh air in here. Holy books. All right, we got to find a garage, folks. I don't know where that is. I'm assuming it's in this door here. All right, so let's take care of all these boxes. Old bikes are just going to chill right there for the time being. Can we take care of the tires? Yes, we can. I wish we can get money for this stuff. You know, like whatever. I mean, like most other games that we do play, get money for all this trash. You know, I guess that's really only, uh, what, barn finders that we get money for all this nonsense we throw away. 
Yeah, I wish we can get that here. All right, leave his tools there. We're not going to touch those. Don't want the dude to come back and have a freaking aneurysm. Don't need a medical emergency here. We're, we already have a homicide almost happening at the other job site. We don't need something else happening here. Could be like two for two for having medicals or homicides at the job sites. All right, we cannot touch those tires. Those tires are staying evidently where they are staying. Let's bust our little magical broom out and clean this nasty nasty floor up but dude what a very satisfying game you know what i'm saying like it just it does truly look so much better when we clean everything up you know i wish we had like a faster way to do this or maybe maybe you know hire somebody at some point in time to do this type of work well, look at that speak of the devil what is what happened what what do i have what's new uh, new cleaning skill. Oh, it's just a skill. I'm not worried about that. It's just gonna make us do a little bit faster. But like, I want a machine. Like, I, I can like a riding, not a riding lawnmower, but but like a riding cleaning machine. Like a, I don't know, man. Like you can sit on it and just clean. They're, they have some like bigger companies, like hospitals, people that clean the floors. They ride those machines. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. That would make things a little bit uh, easier. But we're getting there. Oh, put where, where, what are you doing? Get your broom back out, buddy. Your freaking broom that never ever gets dirty, but literally cleans up everything so incredibly nice. So incredibly nice. Look at that. It looks like a brand new facility in here. He is going to be so ecstatic when he comes back. He is going to be like, honey, did you clean the garage? She's going to be like, yeah, I did. Pff, really, you didn't. Check your bank account, Sandra. You got charged for this job, and I plan on double charging you, or Caroline, whatever your name is, it doesn't matter. Plan on double charging you if I can, because I gotta make a pretty penny. This broom is not cheap, my friends. It is not cheap. I tell you that right now. We cannot take care of that in a bucket full of whatever that is. Uh, okay, we clean the windows with our one stop broom here that cleans everything. Do I need to go outside? Oh, no, I actually, oh, we actually have a, a window. Dear God, I thought we were like cutting the window open, man. All right, this is an interesting tool. Not exactly easy to use, I can tell you that. Let's try to go up. There we go. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is kind of tricky. <laughs> like, I hope we don't have a lot of windows to clean. There we go. And now I think I got the hang of it a little bit. Hopefully this dude just has like one window because this is going to be a little bit time consuming. Oh no. Let's go. Yeah, this is like weird. This is, this is really, really bizarre. Oh, I can't get this bottom part. <laughs> dude, go over, go over, go over. Oh no. Why are you going up? Uh, there we go. Oh, we still didn't get all of it. Oh, no. There, oh, oh, oh. oh, beautiful. All right. Go up with this bad boy. I don't have a big enough table. Like, this is crazy how you have to do this with your mouse. It is like making my arm tired. I'm, I feel like I'm literally actually doing this, and I'm getting a workout by doing this. I'm going to have very strong arms after this game. Oh, come on. Get up there. You guys have, if you guys have ever played this game, dude, it is, oh, shoot, it's weird, it's awkward, I mean, that's, that's a, the best way to sum it up, dude, it is awkward, all right, so we did clean that, let's, or we did finish this job, let's go ahead and go over to complete, a big family needs two bedrooms or more bedrooms, at least two, you have one, two, you have what, look at the bottom left hand corner, does he have four kids or two wives and three kids? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Have you noticed that by using the gallery tab on a tablet, you can choose an, any image from your hard disk and use it as a poster or a picture to hang on your wall? I have not noticed that, but thank you for pointing that out. You can use the camera tab to take photos of the game and save your work on a disk. Okay, so we have nothing, seriously nothing to take a picture of. Like, the grass is still incredibly, incredibly long. Oh my god, that is blurry as hell <laughs> i mean do we want to take a picture let's at least close our door i guess and like we can take a picture of our first shack 
That is literally a shack. All right, that is a, a beautiful picture. Now we can go to our gallery. We can take this. We can change it up. We can put a frame around it. We can make it big. Oh gosh, make it big. All right, that looks for six hundred and sixty-three dollars. Are you shitting me? Whatever, dude. I don't know. How, I don't know how to save money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to save money. How do we put this inside of our house? All right, let's put this. Look at this. It's our freaking shack, man. Right there above the door, and it doesn't fit. How about there? It doesn't fit anywhere. Oh, it fits right here, though. Kind of. It overlaps that thing. We need to move. Let's move this thing. All right. Let's put this bad boy. Look at the ceiling. That is disgusting. <laughs> All right. And we'll put this bad boy right there. We gotta we gotta clean the ceiling. I don't know what that is. It's like coffee stains on the ceiling. Like this is dude, we gotta get some or some cobwebs. We gotta get some paint, man. We gotta make this place more presentable, bro. This is nasty. I almost just wanna burn the place down. Here's another radiator spot. Heaven forbid. Gotta buy more radiators. Alright guys, let's see if we have any more jobs that we can do for the day. So this, this, a whoa, baby on the way. My beautiful wife is finally pregnant. We're now more busy than ever before, but very happy to. I have no idea what to get. I have no idea what to get my hands dirty with. There are so many. You have a long ass email there, buddy. I'm going to read your stuff later. I want the house to look a bit more arty. Can you please paint some of the walls? Yeah, let's go ahead and do a painting job, guys. Let's end this episode with seeing how we can paint. So hopefully we can bring some paint brushes and some paint cans back to our shack and paint that bad boy up because it definitely needs a lot of TLC because it looks like somebody puked everywhere in our place. All right, let's go. What does she want? I didn't even read what she wanted painted, to be honest with you. Uh, corridor. Is this the corridor? Where, where is the corridor? This is going to be the bathroom. Is this the corridor? Is this what y'all mean to paint? I, Ma'am, I don't know. Paint with colors. I'm living room and kitchen. Okay, so this is the kitchen. I should refill a paint roller. Well, how, how the hell do I do that? Where is it? Where's the paint roller at? Where? I mean, I have it in my hand, but like, how do I refill it? No shit. How do we do that? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, here we go. Paint. Large. Bye. All right. Are we good? Are we good? I don't know what she wants. I'm not really paying attention, to be honest with you. Let's grab our paint roller, see if it's good to go. I just did refill it, I thought. Uh, Living room. This is not even the living room. She wants the living room. Where is this the living room? This is the living room. What the hell? This is the living room in the kitchen. Like It's, it's a combination of both. Yes, I have that. What? How do I refill it? I keep buying the damn thing and like, let me just paint with it, bro. Sell objects, paint. There is not enough room. I should. Yeah. Well, is there like a paint bucket somewhere? Maybe it's outside. Nope. Definitely not seeing a paint bucket anywhere. Yeah. Well, you know what? Tell me how to do that, and I will do it. Repair the electrical outlet. We can do that. Let's go ahead and go over to the bedroom, and let's repair the electrical outlet. Is this a, is this the only bedroom she has? All right, put your paint roller away. Which outlet? There's got to be another bedroom. This is this is an awkward house. Oh, here we go. So we got to repair an outlet. It looks like where is. I can sleep at the house. That'd be awesome. Can we crouch? What is that? Like a raindrop. Hmm. Well, guys, I think we're going to have to do this the next episode. Look at this. She's got a picture of her cat in a frame. She must really love her cat. And the grass is mowed here, too. Very nice to see. So, folks, what we're going to do, we're going to pick up where we left, left, leave off. Left off? Leave off? Either way. We're going to pick up next time where we leave off right now, and we're going to paint this bad boy, and we're going to change the outlet because something happened to it. Who knows what? But either way, guys, I don't want that outlet to catch on fire, so we're going to do our best to be an electrician as well as a painter as well as whatever else people need us. So with that being said, folks, hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday, and I will see you next time.